On the day of the attack, I'd just called into the Tesco's and I came on a site in the centre aisle that I can only describe as straight out of a horror movie. There was blood smeared all over the floor, all up the shelves. And at the corner of my eye, I saw a white guy stood over an Asian guy who was on the floor with his arms up, fighting off multiple blows from a machete. Somehow, Sarandef had the, the strength to get himself off the floor and run. I stepped to one side and let Sarandef struggle past me. Once Sarandef had gone past me, I then stood in the middle of the aisle and just made myself as big as possible. The image that I, I still have and will have to this day is the guy running at me down the aisle and holding the machete up that's still dripping blood and a hammer in the other hand. Then he either stopped or he would go to go through me. But I knew the fact of standing in his way would have allowed Sarandef the time to get away and get the help he needed. My option that day was to stand up and try and save a guy's life or to stand aside and let someone die horribly in front of me. I made an oath when I joined the army a long time ago to stand up for people that can't stand up for themselves. I stand up for my country and I stand up for my community.